To load the Radios User Profile, Preferences User Profiles is clicked. Then Radios is selected and Bulk Data is clicked from the drop down menu. Using the model browser, a load collector is created by right clicking and selecting Create Load Collector. The name is set to pressing underscore load and the card image is left as none. Create is then clicked to create the load collector. A second load collector is created, this time with the name Constraints, and the color is set to green. Now the constraints will be applied to the model. First, the View folder in the Model Browser is expanded and View 2 is clicked to orient the model to apply the constraints. The Load Collector folder is expanded to view the Pressing Underscore Load and Constraints load collectors in the Model Browser. The Constraints panel is entered by clicking BC's Create Constraints. The constraints will be defined using the geometry in the component Channel. The Entity Selector is set to Lines and the geometry for the component channel is displayed using the Model Browser. The six lines that define the perimeter of the channel's bottom surface are selected. All six degrees of freedom are activated and load types is set to SPC. Create is then clicked to create the constraints. The constraint size is set to 5 so that the display size of the constraint is reduced. Next, the constraints that are defined on the lines will be mapped to the nodes associated to those lines. This is done using the Loads on Geom panel. To access this panel, BC's Loads on Geometry is clicked. Using the Entity Selector, the Load Collector Constraints is selected. Then, Map Loads is selected so that a constraint is applied at each node associated to the geometry lines. Using the Model Browser, the geometry is turned off for all component collectors. The user-defined view, View 3 is restored, and pressing underscore load is set as the current load collector. Next, two forces will be created on the bracket using the Forces panel. To access this panel, BC's Create Forces is clicked. The two nodes on the outer corners of the component bracket are selected, and then the magnitude is set to 5. The direction selector is switched from N1, N2, N3 to Y axis, so that each force has a magnitude of 5 in the positive global Y direction. The magnitude percentage is set to 200. This displays the size of the forces at 200% of the magnitude. Next, load types is set to force, and create is clicked to create the forces. The display of the load collector Pressing underscore load is turned on. Notice how the forces are displayed in red. This is because the current load collector is the pressing underscore load. The final step is to define a load step. To enter the load steps panel, setup create load steps is clicked. The name of the step is set to pressing underscore step. And SPC and load are activated. SPC is set to the load collector constraints, while load is set to the load collector pressing underscore load. The type is set to linear static, and create is clicked to create the load step. The model browser is then used to turn on and off the display of the load step. Notice how both the constraints and the forces are turned on and off as the load step is turned on and off.